This video is entitled Organizational Structures. It goes with Chapter 1, Initiating for the Course, Project Management for Technology. I'm James M. Renault, PhD from Shawnee State University, and I'll be uh, going through this material on this video. In this video, I will discuss and define the three main types of organizational structures found in most businesses when dealing with projects. The uh, functional uh, organization, the matrix organization, and the projectized organizational structure. Let's start with the functional organization. This is the most common organization within business, and staff is usually organized along departmental or functional lines. That's why it's called a functional organization. Each department or each function is usually managed independently. Pros, the pathways for promotion within a functional organization are very clear. Um, you can grow your skills very easily within a functional organization because all of the functions are housed within a department and you can move around within that department. And usually in a functional organization, there's a clear command chain. You have your senior manager, your department manager, or your function manager, and then managers within, within those functional, within that hierarchy. Cons, when dealing with projects, the functional organization isn't so good because the project managers have very little authority over, over the employees in a department because their functional managers have control over them. The projects uh, compete for employees, and I use EE as an abbreviation for an employee in my slides here. So the project will have to compete with the departmental needs and the operational needs to be able to get the employees and the skills that it needs. Usually, employees work on projects part-time because their full-time gig within the organization is to work on the day-to-day -day operations or the things the department needs. And working on this project over here, working on that project over there could be uh, a part-time kind of thing or, or a part, of their, part of their job requirements. The other thing is that in a, in a functional organization, employees are usually loyal to their functional manager and not the project manager because the project is a temporary endeavor. We saw that on the previous uh, presentation. So an employee would want to be loyal to the person who's going to keep them long term and not the project, which is short term. So a functional organization follows along functional lines is the most common, and we can all think about departments and subgroups within each department having their own managers. Matrix organizations are managed along functional lines, but employees are assigned to a project. So in a matrix organization, you have a functional hierarchy, departments, that type of thing, but employees can be assigned from their department out to a project to work on it. When, a, a, when an organization is of a matrix type, an employee is responsible to the project manager for their project work and the functional manager for their other work. Assignments and responsibilities will need to be negotiated between the project manager and the functional manager. That makes it kind of difficult at times when an employee has two bosses the boss over the project part of what they're doing and a boss over the functional part of what they're doing. This takes a lot of communication between the functional manager and the project manager because they have to negotiate and they have to come up with agreements and responsibilities and, and they have to really understand what each other is doing to make this kind of organization work. Matrix organizations fall into Three subtypes of matrix organizations, the strong, weak, and balanced. Let's just define those three types of matrix organizations. There's the strong uh, matrix organization where the project work is more important than the day-to-day -day departmental or operational work, a strong matrix. A weak matrix is where the functional work usually comes first and the uh, project work is kind of secondary. And then in a balanced matrix organization, 
we we find a balance between the operational work and the project work of the employees in the matrix organization. To be a balanced organization is usually much better for the employees and much better for everyone involved, but it takes a lot of communication between the functional manager and the project manager. The third type of organizational structure that I want to talk about is the projectized um, organizational structure. In a projectized organizational structure, well, first thing, they're not very, they're not as common as the other two. But in a projectized organization, the project manager has the power. Um, it's basically where employees are assigned to projects, and when the projects are done, either the employee doesn't have a job, or is rapidly assigned to another project, or could possibly be put on a bench where the employee is kept kind of in reserve, waiting for the next project that you know is going to happen. Um, consulting software development is often done in a projectized kind of organization. Pros, the project manager has all the, the authority. They have all the resources full time. They have loyalty to the project and dedicated support staff to the project. It's really good to get projects done in a projectized type of environment. The cons though, if you're a project uh, team member or an employee working on the project, are you gonna have a job when the project's done? Um, hopefully you do, and hopefully the organization already has another project waiting for you, or will bench you and pay you a salary Part, you know, for a while until another project comes along. But these are always concerns when dealing in a projectized type organizational structure. These three organizational structures and the three subtypes of matrix organizations and the uh, um, notes and information were taken from Heldman, Kim Heldman's book, CompTIA Project Plus Study Guide, copyright 2017, John Wiley and Sons. This presentation is copyright 2019 by James M. Renault, Ph.D. You can contact me at jrenault at shawnee.edu. This work is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike 4.0 International License, and I would like to say thank you very much for watching.